GCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 228, the process of peristalsis, which explains how food is moved through the gut. In the diagrams here, we have the outline of the gut with the gut walls here. And the important thing to remember about the gut walls is that they are composed or they have within them muscle tissue which of course can contract. The muscle is organized around the esophagus in a circular fashion like this. In cross section then if we have the gut wall like this and this is composed of muscle when the muscle contracts the muscle gets shorter and in the case of muscle organized into a circle this means that the diameter of the circle will decrease. The ball of food which has been swallowed shown here as the bolus enters the gut and stretches the walls, initially stretches the walls of the gut. This causes a reflex of the contraction of the muscle behind the bolus as we can see here and this contraction squeezes and pushes the bolus downwards. As the bolus moves downwards it stretches the gut wall in this region which will then contract in a kind of reflex once more constricting, squeezing and pushing the bolus further down peristalsis